Today we're gonna to look at the past, present, and future of the Design Course YouTube channel and myself, the good, the bad, and the ugly. What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So it is the very tail end of the 2010 decade or so, uh, and getting into 2020. And I wanna just do a video where I took a look at, you know, what I was doing in 2010 along with slightly before that, and then during this whole, you know, last 10 years, in terms of my business, in terms of YouTube, and also my personal life, we take a look at some, some uh, you know, bad points in my life uh, that I was able to correct, fortunately, and also where I'm at now, and ultimately where I wanna go, at least into 2020, and my plans for 2020, which I have cemented, and I have my goals that I want to reach. So if you enjoy this, and of course, you want to check out my content going forward in 2020 because I'm not stopping or slowing down. I uh, definitely subscribe. All right, let's get to it. Before we begin, Linode makes it easy and affordable to host your website, your portfolio, your online store, and more on whatever technology stack you use. Getting up and running is fast and easy with one-click app installs like WordPress and Drupal. With backend access to your server, customization and scaling options are all but limitless. If you just need something small like an online portfolio to showcase your work, Linode has you covered. If you need to manage tons of clients' websites and reliably serve them to millions of visitors, Linode can do that too. So sign up using the link below in the description to get $20 in credit on your new Linode account. All right, so we'll get started here. Um, I'm gonna show you my very first video that I uploaded on the YouTube, YouTube channel um, almost 10 years ago. As you can see, this is nine years ago right here. It actually happens to be this video right here. But before I begin with actually, you know, 2010, I wanted to to really show you guys, uh, or describe to you, you know, what it was I was doing just before that. So in around 2008, I uh, I created a logo design tutorial. It was written for me, and I published it on my website. And Google ended up really liking it and sending me about a thousand visitors a day. So what I started, what I decided to do to try to monetize it outside of just banner ads is to I uh, created a a backend system um, for managing clients. So I was going to do logo design for these people who realize they can't design their own logo. Um, so I did that, that was the bulk of my income. That's mainly what I was doing from 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012, and into 13 a little bit as well. Um, but I also, at the same time, uh, probably around 2009, I bought designcourse.com uh, from a domain company for like 1500 bucks. And I, I decided to also try to monetize that traffic I was getting from Google uh, by selling logo design course and eventually a web design course as well. Um, so around uh, here in 2010, as you can see here at the date, if you can see this at all, I uh, make sure I'm not, there it is. I uh, April 3rd, 2010 was the very first video um, that I upload on this YouTube channel. And I decided, you know, uh, maybe YouTube is something worth paying attention to. It was a few years old at that time. Uh, and we'll see what comes of it. And so I actually, my very first video, surprisingly, has 257,000 views. I, here it is. You're going to hear the full audio as well. I made that, by the way, in Adobe After Effects. Four by three ratio, Hello, as you can this see. This is Gary Simon with the Design Letter and DesignCourse.com. In this tutorial, we're going to, to take a look at one tool and one tool only, and that is the pen. I wonder if you guys notice a difference in my voice from ten years ago. I uh, tool, and let's go ahead and just get started right now. Go to File, New. It, it is higher pitched, I think, than my current, more aged, thirty-six year old voice. And I have it set at 800 by 500. You can use the same if you want, otherwise. Anyhow, so that was my very first video. And if you look here at the dates, we can see that I, the videos that say nine years ago, there's literally only five. So I only did five videos. I didn't really take this seriously at all. I never thought it would be a viable way to, to make an uh, income at all. I was making nothing. Um, back here, then it says it jumps to seven years ago. For an entire year, I didn't do anything. Um, seven years ago, I, I also put out five videos. Some of these videos actually had a ton of views out of nowhere. Like this one has 370,000 views, um, 30,000 views, 12,000 views. You know, I wasn't doing any advertising to get those views, by the way. I was just uploading them and choosing keywords, and that was it. Probably because I was one of the first to start doing these type of tutorials. It, it, they did pretty well. Um, and then six years ago, I, I put out probably about 10, 15 videos. Um, and then... Five years ago, 
Oh, let me not get ahead myself. What ended up happening with my logo design business around 2012, I Google stopped sending me as much traffic. In other words, my the the keywords I was ranking for, which were like number one and two position for many keywords, and there was a lot of long tail keywords as well. It just started gradually going down and down and down, and I made a massive mistake that I really have to stress. I mean, I'm never going to make the mistake again, and I need to stress that you guys never do the same thing as well, and that is to become complacent. I was making a bit over six figures. I was making over $100,000 a year designing logos like crazy. Um, I was probably getting 20 to 30 logo orders per month, and so I was knocking them out. Um, I had a high... Um, yield where I, I was able to satisfy people so I didn't have to do hardly any revisions on most of them um, and, and, and they were happy with it um, but I ended up losing a lot of traffic over the course of a few months along with it my income so I had to downsize the house to get a, a lesser mortgage payment I it, it was bad but what was really cool is I was actually I was hit up by a company um, called Inv the Envato Network, and they run a bunch of sites you probably heard of, um, ThemeForest.net. Uh, they also ran uh, the Tuts Plus, they still do, .com. And it was Tuts Plus who actually sent me an email saying, hey, we like the content you've seen on your YouTube channel and what you've done with designcourse.com. Would you like to come and I, uh, you know, create courses for us? And they were offering like 2,000 or something per course for about 90 minutes, 60 to 90 minute course. And I was like, oh, great. That's, that's going to be my savior to make up for the lost income. Uh, and so I started doing that quite a bit. As you can see here, this is my um, author's page at tusplus.com. And I think there's something like 22 courses here. And they were all, you know, banner design and Photoshop, identity design, effective landing page design, uh, infographics, icon design, social media, photo manipulation and compositing even. So there was a lot of Illustrator, Photoshop, and even front end development work here. Um, you know, around this time. And I did this, you know, basically one course per month. So this was almost for two years I was doing this uh, as my main source of income, really. Um, and I, if I come back here, we'll see. Um, like I said, that was about 2012. And then I received uh, another email from digitaltutors.com. Now, they ended up getting bought out by pluralsite.com, but I did about a year's worth of work for them, and I stopped working with Tuts Plus, and I started working for Digital Tutors. Pluralsite bought them out, um, and this is my author page here. And I ended up doing, between digitaltutors.com and Pluralsite, 29 courses. And they were all in front end development for the most part. Uh, so you could see there's quite a stuff. The art of A-B testing for web design. This is back in 2015, uh, back when the whole UX term wasn't, you know, was still very relatively new. Um, but yeah, I, I, I loved working with it. I still get a, a royalty check from every quarter and it's pretty sizable. Um, but I, oh yeah, I also flew out to California to do a course and I ended up doing two courses, one at home and one in California uh, for LinkedIn.com. Uh, they bought out Lynda.com uh, and I did, they were both based on Angular 2 when I was really into Angular um, and also Angular template design and implementation. Um, so yeah, very cool stuff. So what ended up happening is uh, while I started to work with Tut Plus, uh, five years ago, I decided to do a video. It's this video right here where it says, uh, it goes from six years ago to five years ago, uh, using Photoshop to showcase mobile projects. Um, this video right here, I actually, let me just mute that, was January 1st of 2014. You could see right here. Uh, I chose that because I decided I was going to come up with a goal. We're going to be covering. And I'm going to show you the goal part right here. And today is an exciting day for two reasons. First, it's January 1st, 2014. And second, this is the first video in what will be 365 videos completed before the end of 2014. So we're going to be covering. So that was the goal. I was going to create a video every day on YouTube uh, for an entire year. Now, what had ended up actually happening is I can't I'm not sure exactly where it's at I think I can find it actually these are all every single day 
some of them were series um but oh i also wanted to sh i'll get to this in a second but i i think that everyday situation ended up ending prematurely i got to 100 yes right here i got to beginning 100 i 100 days. Uh, 100 Hello, stores, Gary Simon days. of designcourse.com. Today, I, I wanted look. to make a really important video that I've been meaning to make for quite a while. And that is the announcement that I'm not going to be sticking with a goal that I stated. So I hope some of you who've been following me for a while don't get pissed off. All right, so basically at the beginning of the year, 2014, January 1st, I put out a video with a statement that I'm going to be recording a video every single day of 2014. Or Long story short, it was just too difficult. I Putting out a video every day on YouTube plus having to, you know, my main source of income was creating courses for these networks like Tuts Plus and Digital Tutors and all them. Uh, it was way too hard. I'm glad I did it though, because it was 100 videos, and that took me from about, at the beginning of 2014, I think I had like 6,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube, six or 10,000, and then by the end of that year, I think it was like the 36,000. So those videos really helped me uh, gain a lot of subscribers and a lot of traction on YouTube, but it was very difficult. So I, I went down to maybe once per week or a couple per week um, from that point, and I never really stopped. Um, I wanted to go back up because I saw a thumbnail of myself. I want to show you guys. Here I am. I had, this is, again, five years ago. I was like around 30 when I was like 30 or 31. I had a big drinking problem because I, well, let me just show you. I want to show Hi. you my face. Have you always won? I, the stress from my previous business having been, I, uh, let me pause that. Having having you know it was it failed. I took up drinking and I started drinking a lot more, and it got to the point I was drinking like six to ten beers every night for like a year and a half. And you can see it in my face. I didn't realize because I still went to the gym, I still exercised. I but I didn't realize just like how much damage <laughs> it was actually doing. I uh, you could see, and this was in February fifteenth, and I have this muted here. I. Uh, just to like that, my face, it, it just, I look large, as you can see. Um, in the other video that I was just, when I, that was February 15th. Let me fast forward here to this video, which was only a few months later. You can see there's quite a difference in the size of my uh, face, because that was, let's see here, if I get up the other window. Yeah, let me let me shrink this in a bit. Yeah, like you can see a big difference from February here all the way to June. And what ended up ha happening is I, I had uh, a lot of anxiety issues and high blood pressure. I went to the doctor because I, I thought I was freak, like I was going to die. The, 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 the way I was feeling, it was like an anxiety or a panic attack. And they checked my by blood pressure. It was real high. And they said, yeah, this could have something to do with the alcohol. So I, I really like completely stopped for a short period of time and then only occasionally ever since then. Um, I just wanted to throw that in there um, just because this was a, a pivotal point in my life. Fortunately, I'm, I'm glad it happened that there was not serious health effects, but they could be serious if I continued on down the path of alcoholism. So glad I stopped that. Uh, anyhow, so the type of uh, content that I was teaching during that p period when I was doing like one video per day, uh, it it was all over the board because I had to come up with content ideas so quickly. Uh, I was teaching UI design. I was teaching uh, front end development. I was also teaching Blender for quite a while. I was really getting into 3D Blender. I was also, uh, for a while, I taught Unity. Um, there's a lot of like hidden videos here, by the way, that you guys want to see where I was just testing and stuff. Uh, but then, you know, I decided to focus more on less quantity and higher quality back uh, about five years ago. And I even got into a while um, private tutoring I was doing for a bit. Um, and that ended up being a little bit too difficult uh, to set up. So I, I ended up stopping that. I was doing a lot of challenges as well. Uh, Design Challenge 25, as you can see. So I was doing that four years ago quite a bit. Um, and as you can see, this just keeps going on and on. Around three years ago, I started getting into uh, Angular 
And once I did that, I was also launching my site, Corsetro.com, um, where I had courses and free courses here. These views, as you can see, I was only getting like 3,000 views, 1.8 thousand views right here, 2.3 thousand. Once I did this course here, which is split up into a bunch of these videos, 33,000 views, 10,000 views, 16,000 views, 15,000 views, 32,000 views. Now, mind you, back then, three years ago, it was only this this still was only making me three or four hundred bucks per month. I was still really just just really set on it. Uh, to, if nothing else, just for the recognition to sell other courses in the future. Um, so I continued on and uh, down the Angular road. I did Angular four. I did like a, an Angular um, video and crash course for every elite release, um, re all the way up to like seven, I believe. Um, and yeah, as you can see, uh, I've just kept consistent throughout the last year. I've uploaded in 2012 or 20, 2012, 2019, about 150 videos so far. Um, and I probably about a year and a half ago is when I had my first sponsored video, like where people started to notice the size of my channel and were paying me uh, just to have like product reviews or whatever. And I also had my first, first actual real sponsor um, early this year with uh, Skillshare and I was with them for about a year. And then now I'm with Linode and uh, the, the, the ad revenue from YouTube really shot up a lot as well. And like over the course of a year, you know, it went from just like a few hundred dollars per month to a several thousand dollars per month. Uh, so I'm just really fortunate to be able to, to be in this position to keep on doing what I'm doing. So now I wanted to talk about the future in 2020 and what my goals are. So my goals are in 2020 is to keep on focusing on UI, UX and front end development as always but I really wanna get more into the UX aspect because the UX branches off into a lot of different areas, specifically uh, usability, testing. I really wanna get into that. I have an idea that I may um, upload here on Friday, maybe next week, that's gonna be very cool and in the usability testing realm. I wanna get into that type of content. I also am very close, about like 99% of the way to securing a deal with scrimba.com where I create a course designed for developers. So if you're a front-end developer, but you really want to be able to design very well, this is gonna be a lengthy course, you know, probably seven to 10 hours long, where I show you all of the design fundamentals while using Scrimma's live code, live interactive code editor to, you know, design for every certain UI scenario. Uh, so I'm excited about that. So my goal is to release that course at the very beginning uh, within the like a month or two of 2020. So we're looking at February probably. And then I also want to do another course um, specifically with Adobe XD and UI design, and then another course for Figma users with UI design learning and using Figma as well. So that that's my three courses. So in a couple years, I haven't released a single paid course, as you guys know, who follow me on this channel. So all my, my income has come from the sponsors and the YouTube ad revenue primarily, along with some royalties from the other courses I've done. But now, I need to kind of branch outside of YouTube and really try to uh, monetize in other ways just because it's not smart to have all your eggs in the YouTube basket because who knows what can happen. I've already been down that road with Google and my logo design business uh, where the traffic source can dry up for whatever reason uh, and then you're left in a, a really bad, icky situation. I may also be striking a deal uh, with a... Uh, a network uh, called springboard.com um, where they teach UI and UX in a, in a very elaborate course. Um, and we'll see how that pans out as well. So I'm really looking forward to 2020 and branching out uh, into other areas in terms of courses. And you can definitely look forward though to just seeing two to three videos uh, per week um, focused on UI, UX, and front-end development on this channel. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. You stuck with me or whatever. Um, and make sure to subscribe up for all the more content that's going to be coming your way here in the rest of this year and 2020. All right, goodbye.